Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I picked up the Makeup Forever Let's Gold palette. So if you want to see my tutorial on this look as well as my thoughts on this palette, then just keep watching. So as soon as I saw the pictures online that Trendmood posted of this new Makeup Forever palette, I knew I was going to pick it up. So I've been literally stalking this palette for like the past month and it finally released and as soon as it released, I picked it up. So the major facts about this guy is that it is $45. It is available right now and is currently an exclusive to Sephora. It will be a limited edition and online it is described as a limited edition palette featuring a pro quality buildable shadow formula in 18 earth tone shades with matte metal and chrome finishes. So let's go over the packaging of this guy. It just comes in this rectangular, really reflective packaging that's going to make you go blind. It's actually a quite simple packaging, if you ask me, with a fun little theme to it. And then you open it up and it is so cute looking. I love it. These shade sizes are actually quite small. I would say about the size of a nickel. But for $45 for 18 shades, I think that's a pretty good deal, especially for Makeup Forever because their regular single shadows are very, very <laughs> expensive. So to get all of these little guys for $45, I think is a really good deal. I'd rather get less smaller product and more color for a little bit of less money anyways. So I am all for what Makeup Forever did. I feel like Makeup Forever usually doesn't do like value stuff like this. So that's pretty exciting. Also, this palette comes with like these little three guides and they're supposed to help you get a look. So it's very interesting, a little bit extra. I don't know if anybody's actually going to do this, but you open it up and it comes with holes and you put it on the palette. And basically, so for these three shades, you can get that look. Um, it's a cute idea. Don't know who's actually going to use these, but like it is a cool way to get some inspo for a look, you know? So one thing I would like to point out to you guys before I show you the swatches is that online, if you read it just like I did, it says it is a beautiful shadow formula. It's not very often that brands will describe their shadows like that. Usually they like to say they're highly pigmented. So this says a beautiful shadow formula. It does say it is highly pigmented in their description, but it also says buildable pigment. So I'm going to go into the shadow swatches for you guys. Really quickly though, the tones of this palette definitely Definitely earth tones. I love it. I especially was attracted to the brown greens. Those kind of tones really do something to me. So that's why I was so excited to buy this palette. Okay, so brace yourself. This is kind of where the review starts to go downhill in this video. So the top row is the mattes. I swirled my finger in a few times and then I just did one swipe across my arm for each of these shades. So here is just one of those few swirls and swatch. So as you can see, the pigmentation on these shadows, they are, look kind of sheer. I did take into consideration, they did say it was a buildable shadow formula, so I took it upon myself to layer it on some more but initially on swatching it is quite sheer not very pigmented um going in that second time it did help with pigmentation i feel like colors like that tend to be much more rich and pigmented um and creamy these are quite soft to the touch but they also don't have a lot of kickback which i really like i really don't like back in my shadows i'm one of those people so initially by swatches on the top row they just swatch quite sheer but for matte shadows how they swatch doesn't really bother me because a lot of times they do translate onto the lid well if they're sheer so the next row is considered their metallic formula again i swirled a few times and swatched them on my arm and this row was also very disappointing to me. These are described as a metallic. They're more of a soft, sheer satin shade with not a lot of pigmentation to them. Um, again, very soft to the touch. They are earth tones, but they are, they're just a little lackluster to me. I did go in and layer a second time over them, and they still were quite sheer. Okay, so let's go into the last row. This, These are the chrome formula. This by far is the best swatching row of the three finishes. You actually have pigmentation in these shadows. So, I mean, that's really good. So those shadows swatched beautifully. They were very pigmented. Um, the finish of them is not really what I would describe as chrome. I would describe them as like a shimmer shade, to be quite honest. They're 
they have more of a satin finish with some glitter particles in them. The glitter particles don't get on your face, but chrome isn't the way I would describe them. They have a glimmer to them, of course, but they're really not that shiny, <laughs> if that makes sense. So now that I've kind of gotten the swatches out of the way and the finishes for you guys, application is everything. So before I even filmed this tutorial, I was playing around with this palette putting a few shades on my eyes so that I can get a feel for the palette. Um, I like to do this before I do my reviews so I can try out all the colors and tell you how they work and basing it on more than just one application. So normally I don't film this stuff, but the outcome of them just wasn't good and I wasn't satisfied. So I did just want to show you this clip of me experiencing it. I'm really playing with it. Okay, so right now, just pay no mind. I'm like playing with the colors right now so I can get an accurate review. And as you can see, everything on this eye is really, really sheer. And I really tried to build it up and it just wasn't working for me. I did just put the shade Lavish, which is the more mauve purple shade. And it is really, really patchy. And I've been trying to build it up. Like this is many, many layers of it. And it just, it's not looking right. And I wasn't going to film me playing around with these shadows on camera. Usually I just do this off camera to get a feel for the shadows. But I just want you to see if they're really not working for me. So I'm going to take the shade Fortune right here on a shader brush. Like nothing. So I'm going to go in with my finger. It's like a dead shade. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the shade Famed right here. So I'm digging my brush into that. I mean, this shade's a little better, but as you can see, it's just not pigmented. It's really, really sheer. I'm going to take a little bit of this. This one is one of the better shades in the palette. But you see, it's just not giving me the payoff that I want. What, the point I'm trying to make is I'm not trying to make a beautiful look. I just want to show you that I'm just not getting the payoff that I want. Do you see how sheer that color is? Like, that should be packed with pigment. Anyways, back to the actual review. So as stated in that video, you know, it wasn't like I had a full face on. I had put a concealer down and I was playing with the shadows, seeing how they built up, seeing how they blended, just seeing how they laid on the lid. And as you can tell, I was just not impressed. So essentially from those applications as well as the applications today, I found the mattes to be quite sheer. They are buildable. A little bit but they really don't build into too much more once you put that initial layer down it will go a little darker if you keep continuing to build on that but you really just don't get much from them I also found a few of the shades to be patchy um lavish I found to be really patchy that was in the clip I just showed you diggers a little patchy and mine is just hard to blend out so moving on to the second row, these guys were definitely very lackluster. So I did apply them to my lid with a brush and with my finger and both times all of these shades, I could literally see my eyelid underneath them. The shade Billion isn't that bad. That is what's on my lid right now, but I really wasn't impressed from this. I feel like I could find a shadow like this, the same quality from the drugstore. It wasn't bad, but it, it didn't it also wasn't that good to be honest so all of these shades are just like sheer washes of color on your lid and then this last row these are definitely the most pigmented shades in the palette these are what's going to show up the best on your lid but again they just didn't really do it for me though they did show up more it wasn't really what I was looking for. These two deep shades, these are really the only two that you get a lot of pigmentation out of and you do get some fallout with them, which is okay. That's not that big of a deal. <sighs> I, I just think as a whole, these shadows just don't work that well. The couple of shades that I will say are good, I do like the shade Precious and I do like the shade Igneous, but at the moment, that's about it. 
<laughs> that being said, though I am complaining, this actually might be a formula that is good for you. If you just want a simple wash of color on your lid, you're not looking for any really dramatic look or super pigmentation because that can be quite intimidating to people, especially for people who aren't quite as experienced with makeup. I can definitely see this being a place in somebody's collection. For me personally, you know I love to do these really fun looks. I love to get the color that I see in the pan onto my eyelid and for me this just isn't my preference in formula I just wasn't blown away by any of the shades in this palette they just didn't work for me some of them were patchy some of them didn't blend um, some of them were so sheer it just I felt like I could find these colors at the drugstore let me be quiet for a second and I'm just going to quickly explain how I did get this look because it is quite pretty I was so into these olive tones in this palette that's one of the main reasons I got it and I do quite like the look that I have so I started off with the shade soil and I used that on my crease just all over with a big fluffy brush I then put the shade digger right on top I will say those two together don't really pair that well I wish I just would have used Digger on its own, so I did go ahead and just put that on my lower lash line alone. A little bit patchy, but I could definitely make it work because it is a tone that I like, so I did like this shade. And then I went in with the shade Mine, and oof, this did not blend. I couldn't get it to blend. It was looking patchy. I wasn't about this shade. This just isn't a good chocolate brown. It's just not. And then I went in with the shade Treasure down here. This I had no problems getting to show up on my lid. I did get quite a bit of fallout from it. Not that big of a deal. Um, I really just wasn't into the shade just because I don't like the color. But, I mean, it worked and it did its job. I wish for it being described as a chrome, it did have more of a chrome reflective effect. I just didn't get that from this. It, it's, it literally kind of looks matte with a little bit of gold glitter on my eyelid. And then I use the shade Billion with my finger and I apply that to the inner half of my lid. Uh, I would just describe this shade as a little bit dull. It's not my favorite. It is pretty, but I just, it, it's dull to me. And then to try and liven up the look, I went in with the shade Famed, and I put that kind of in the center of my lid to add a little bit of gold glitz, and again, is a little dull. Um, off camera, I used the shade Pure under my eyebrow, which it's just a cream shade, it's fine, and the shade Precious, which is probably my favorite shadow in this palette, and I use that as my inner corner. It's very, very pretty in the inner corner. I like the look that I got, but overall, I think it's safe to say I'm pretty disappointed in this eyeshadow palette. Which makes me sad because Makeup Forever actually has a really good and trusted eyeshadow formula. Like, their singles are good quality. And I just wasn't getting that from this. I was so excited because Makeup Forever rarely comes out with these, like, really kitschy, cute palettes, limited edition palettes. Releases for them, in general, I feel like are far and few between. So when they come out with something, it's good and it's thought out. And I just wasn't... I just don't... I also almost feel as if the, this palette doesn't have a lot of depth to it. All of these stay within the same kind of tone and shade. And with the more cheer formula, I just don't see how this is going to work on somebody with a more deep complexion as well. I mean, obviously, I can't personally speak on that. But based on the fact that I had to build this shadow... The buildable formula that I talked about, I mean, it's really not that buildable either. It's like I layered on some shades and they were still, like, I could still see my eyelid through them. Some other great things that I would recommend for Makeup Forever are their base products. Those are really good. I love the Ultra HD foundation. That's what I'm wearing right now. And the self-setting concealer as well. The concealer's not really self-setting, but it's a genuinely nice concealer though. Great for every day. Like I said, their single eyeshadows are really good. Uh, this formula just didn't work out for me. If you are on the market for a sheer formula, uh, maybe check this out and you can get some pigmentation from this bottom row. But for me, I just feel like I have palettes that work better for me. I don't want to give up though. I will continue to use this palette and see if maybe I just am having a bad day today. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for maybe some sort of update video and I will definitely talk about this because right now I'm not really feeling it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. I need to know if you've tried the end, if you've experienced the same thing. So 
yeah, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.